Great fun watching the, uh, the boys arrive on the 8th and 9th of May 1945. I think we all felt the urge to go, and all my class at the intermediate school. You can't talk to anybody like you can talk to a soldier. You've got that common bond, there's absolutely no doubt about it. Um, we're passionate about what we do. such a small island has such a commitment to the armed services and involvement in the conflicts that the um, United Kingdom have found themselves in speaks well of the island, it speaks well of our traditions and it speaks highly of the individuals concerned. A lot of people positioning, getting things, final, final preparations done, markers put out so people know where they've got to go, um, and just the final talk to people about what needs to be done. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. Well, I think it's absolutely in line with that famous poem of John McRae's in Flanders fields, when he said it is the duty of the soldiers today to pick up the torch and carry it and keep the faith with the fallen of previous conflicts. This goes deep into the culture of the island and um, the people of Jersey are enormously uh, generous to the Royal British Legion Poppy Appeal uh, and every year give a remarkable amount and, and it shows uh, I guess the extent to which they care. I was at Engineering College in London. I'd finished, and uh, they wrote to me and said, uh, you're due for call up. And I said, rubbish, because I come from Jersey, but I'm going to join up anyway. We loaded up in Southampton docks on June the 6th, and went ashore in Normandy on June the 7th which was D-Day plus two. And come and pop us five, six o'clock, I said to my batman, um, we haven't gone at 10, have we? And he said, no. I said, well, can you find somewhere to put my bed up? And I said, there's a white scout car over there. And he said, put it under there. So he did. When he bought me a cup of tea in the morning, he said, did you know, sir, that white scout car was loaded with ammunition? The whole lot would have gone up if a shell had come down. See, my dad, he was wounded at Dunkirk, 
Uh, he did 22 years. Did that, and I was born in the barracks in York. And he said, um, only advice he gave me, keep your head down. <laughs> you know, that was it. Advice, because he didn't talk about his action. He was wounded, he was missing, for him killed. And had a bit of a raw deal, because uh, when, when they found him, he was in Coventry Hospital. He'd been brought over and got, got machine gunned by these fighters that were going over. And they found him on a raft, two alive out of ten men on it. I was a cadet for four years, and then I went to uh, a national service, called up, 1940, end of 1949. And uh, from there, training, all the shot, and then overseas, quick as that. I thought I'd just go in and see what's going on in the, in, the, in the Army recruiting office. And there was a nice big sergeant there smiling away at me and <laughs> different things. And he, uh, I inquired what it was, what you had to do to join the Army and do you learn to drive and, you know, big vehicles. I always wanted to be a, a lorry driver, you know. He said, yes, yeah, of course we do, son. You know, we teach you all sorts of things. So he he took me in to join in anyway. We'd done our training and then they shipped us to Borneo because of the Indonesian conflict. Um, and we went, well, I was there for about five months continuously. And we had uh, conflict uh, with the Indonesian. One of the first jobs I got on arrival, being the new kid on the block, I was told I was going up to Thumira's Bezo. What's Bezo? I said. They said, Brigade Air Support Officer. Oh, I said. Hmm. So off I went. I was, uh, arrived up there at this forward base, and uh, with some amusement, my only success was I got the kerosene fridge working. God grant to the departed rest, to the living, faith to the Queen of the Commonwealth and this blessed island, security and peace, and the blessing of God Almighty, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you this day and evermore.